All right, now we got a 9.9 uh, .9, uh, Mercury four-stroke kicker motor on here, and Joe tells me that it won't start. So let's see if we can figure that out. It will start. Oh, it'll start? It'll start, but you have to be holding the throttle manually, the linkage, like, way open. Oh, okay, so it's not running well. Let's see if we can see what's going All on. All right, describe the problem again. Um, well, once we were able to generate decent fuel pressure, yeah, we so thought you that hook might this be the up issue. to the other ball. We switched this to the other to the big engine fuel line and bulb. Um, but then I could not start it unless the choke was out, and I was because this has to be a neutral. I'd have to manually um, oh, give it uh, a lot of gas, a lot of gas, to start, and it wouldn't start otherwise. Um, right there. Okay, well let's see if it does that. It wouldn't start otherwise. Again, we're gonna. This. And when I got it to run, it would have to be at really high RPMs. If I backed off it much at all, it would just die. Um, if I had it at its lowest RPM state, that it would stay running, and push choke in, it would die. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can recreate it. Okay. Hold on. Choke I got to turn the water on. All right. Can you try it now? There, okay, so it's doing the same thing. So let's take let's turn the water off. So we know it's not spark, right? No, it's probably not spark. Not uh, spark. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna. After my last video, I'm not gonna assume anything. But let's let's clean the carb out a little bit and see if that helps. All right, this is a 2007 Mercury 10 horsepower. Um, I don't know anything at all about this, honestly. So this is just me guessing. I'm gonna take the air box off here, and we'll start with that, and see if we can get in here and clean this out a little bit and see if it makes a difference. All right, you can get these air box bolts off with a 10 mil millimeter and a long extension, but like anything when working on these motors, you gotta be super duper careful. You don't drop anything down <laughs> into there, which is, or have a telescoping magnet in case you do. Yeah, but it's best to avoid that. This is kind of a long bolt that goes all the way through and it bolts onto this part. So I got that off. I'm going to just pull this hose is just in here and it goes over here. I got to believe this is some sort of emissions controlled kind of thing. So I'm going to just pull that out so that I can get this air box out and take a look inside this carburetor. All right, just here's that. Here's that air box. All right, I'm just I I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I'm I'm going to pull this off. This goes down, actually, to the bottom of the motor. And pull it off for right now, um, so get a little bit more access to the carburetor. All right, so this is this looks like this is the drain for the bowl. So I'm going to pull that out. And see what comes out. Okay, let's let that drain out and then we're gonna get some carb cleaner, push it through there. It'd be better to take it all the way out and disassemble it, but that requires removing all these linkages. So let's see if this helps at all if we get it cleaned out. Uh, I know gas goes through there well. I kept this drain out and I pumped the bulb a bunch of time and we had a lot of gas that came through there. So let's give it another try. Let's fill that bowl back up and we'll try starting it. Perfect. Is it the same? Yeah. All right, since that didn't do anything, we could safely assume that wasn't the problem. I'm gonna just pull the plugs out. All right, obviously it's getting sparked, but let's take a look at those. 
That's one very dirty looking spark plug. Like, I don't know what the deal is. I'm going to clean that up and see if that helps any. It looks like the right gap and it's the right plug. It says on the tag and it's supposed to be 0 0.8 millimeters and I don't have a spark plug gapper but that doesn't appear to be grossly off that. So let's clean it up and see if it makes any difference. Exactly the same thing? Yep. All right. All right, so here's the deal. It seems to run forever at kind of a high idle as long as the choke is on. I'm trying to let it warm up for a while and see if oh, whatever can work its way out. But as soon as you turn the choke off and try to do like a low idle, it seems to die. After a little bit of looking, uh, I'm going to check out the fuel pump, which is right here, and see if it's clogged at all. I'm going to just pull these fuel lines off here, make it easier to get it. Uh, I'm having a little hard time getting this out. I did pull this fuel line up, and there's another fuel filter in here too, so I'm going to just disconnect it here, make sure that's clean. That ought to give me the room to pull this fuel pump out. This is what that looks like. There's the back of it and the front of it. And all it does is it's got a little thing that the motor, when it turns over, pushes on that. I'll show you where. You see in there, there's a, I'm not sure, part of the camshaft, I suppose. Um, and I was, this is a water hose. And I sort of pulled that out of the way and disconnected the gas line here and was able to just pull it out. Now let's take that apart. You know what? That looks fine. It doesn't look, I'm going to clean it out a little bit, but I don't see any problem there. Hmm. Hey, what did you discover, Joe? I didn't discover anything yet. But we you removed the carburetor completely and yeah, just trying to clean out all the jets and things. Yeah, I'm not even sure where the jets are. I'm, these two things yeah. seem to be they might have jets inside them. Is that Let's look at it. Right. Um, but they also look like something I didn't want to mess with until I figured it out because unless there was some like perfect adjustment that the screws had to be at. Here Joe has gotten it back together again and it's running. Same thing? Idling. And with the choke off? No. Oh. Let it warm up a little bit. Yeah. Alright, try it. Hey, that's good. It works. Yeah? Seems a little rough at <laughs> but it's rough and idle, but but it it works. It didn't work yesterday. No, it didn't work yesterday. Right. I don't think we, I don't know what we did. Well, you know. I mean, we cleaned out something that looked immaculate and pushed no particles or residue of any kind out of anything, but it worked. Hey, that's all that matters, right? It is all that matters. All right, let's go fishing. Woo! <laughs> all right. That's, that's awesome. 
Good job. Yeah, as Joe's saying, it's a little unsatisfying to not exactly see what we did, but obviously it was something to do with the carburetor, taking it apart, cleaning it out, pushing stuff through all those holes, and it seems to work. Yeah.